Hello everyone, today I would like to show you the new generation of Arthur, our pediatric patient simulator by MedVision. Um, tell you what's new about him, what improvements have been made. However, this is a pre-production unit, so the final spec might be a little bit different, so stay tuned to find out about that. So instantly the most noticeable is the new realistic face. I think it looks great with the hair, the eyebrows as usual, high quality silicon, and everything is nice and flexible, including the neck actually, which why it makes sense for us to transport them in a collar. So let me show you here. So as you can see, full range of motion. Now, Arthur is available with this face. However, the older face, is still available as well and while we're on the topic of the neck one of the new features is as you can see here the reduced cervical range of motion so i'm going to toggle that and here you'll be able to see arthur's neck stiffen up and it's become more difficult to move his head around so it's stiffer now so you'll be able to see it relax when i um, turn that feature off just a second there we go. What is also instantly noticeable is the pins and plates, as we call them, uh, on Arthur's skin. So here, under the rubber protector cap, it also hides it a little bit. There is the pin for ECG, where you can attach your uh, real cable. And here is a plate where you would be placing your AED electrode on top, or a, a manual electrode as well. So also they can be uh, screwed out and you can uh, also change the position of these to here and there is one on the back as well for anterior uh, posterior defibrillation. Uh, the new IV arm is wet and dry so you can choose however you like to use it. So you um, give it a few syringes of air or a few syringes of water to recalibrate it and here you can see where is the water outlet is going to be coming out. Now, on the other side here, I had it sticking out like this on purpose. So this is the new uh, pleural drainage module. You can see it here with the harder plastic ribs and the softer silicon part. You just stick it in there. And this is a consumable that you can replace and use a number of times. It can be flush with the skin there like that. What's also new with this new version of Arthur is the technology used for pulses. In all of the points of pulses for Arthur, they've been now replaced for the magnetic technology. We used to have a pneumatic one. Of course, it's impossible to show it in a video. However, you'll just have to believe me that this feels more realistic. Um, it is reliable. It is easier to connect and disconnect the limbs with this new technology. So I will, we believe you'll, you'll like it. So it, they're easy to trigger when you're touching them. They trigger instantly. Uh, they feel nice and physical under your fingertips, if, if you know what I mean, because sometimes these pulses can feel a little diffused, so you don't feel them actually tapping, tapping sorry, under your fingers, but here you do. I'm gonna show it a little later, but um, other improvements include Arthur sitting up easier for scenarios that require that. So uh, the joint in his hips has been made a little more pliable, let's say a little softer, so that he sits up more naturally. Uh, other improvements would be urination with actual liquid output, improved compliance settings, so when you are ventilating him with a real ventilator, you're going to have uh, a more realistic experience, so when you go to the lung icon here, you can see the compliance slider. When you operate this, you'll get a more realistic picture now. And while we're here, you can also now have the exhaled CO2 here. You toggle it with a press here. And if you go to presets, you can also now have these presets of can't intubate, can't ventilate, and can't intubate, can't ventilate without, well, previously you had to do this with all of the settings, you know, pressing a bunch of buttons, but now you here have these toggle commands. So it's made a little easier. Now, a solution familiar to MedVision users, the Smart Scope, has been updated. So it now has, sorry, it's out of focus, just a second. There we go. So it now has increased coverage, better stability, better battery life. You see, it uh, looks a little bit different than the old one. 
However, with this pre-production unit, what we actually have is we have speakers under the skin so that you can use it without this smart scope adapter. You just um, apply your stethoscope directly to skin. So we're now testing currently which solution do we like better, this or that. Frankly, um, when I do it like that with speakers under the skin, I can hear some of the mechanics um, of ventilation, chest rise and fall, blinking. I can hear them all when I'm auscultating with uh, directly to the skin. However, I don't when I do it with the smart scope adapter. I just hear the clear, the crisp, let's say, sounds of hearts, lungs, and bowels. If um, Also, actually, the new features of the auscultatory gap and if i press more sounds from uh, you know those of you who are familiar with medvision software know this you can now configure each point individually to have something maybe a bit more custom you can also configure the volume and then just go and configure the rest of your points and press activate so now you have a custom preset on the auscultate so for drug recognition we have this album where you would usually take the tag take the syringe you can see here it has a 3m velcro so what i do is i take the tag okay and i apply it to the syringe like this it's reusable you can do it as many times as you like there we go and then i would go here and i would introduce the medicine uh, it can now, as, as I said before, it can now be either air or liquid. And you introduce it here like this. However, the new feature that we have here is you can see we have the album with medication. However, if you go to the last page, it has some blank ones. So what you do is you take the tag and you are now supplied with this programming tool, which you connect to your instructor laptop. You place it here. And you can now program it to be whatever you want it to be. And with, with the marker, you just write on top of it what it is, basically. Again, very difficult to show with the, um, with the camera like this. The internal anatomy of Arthur has been upgraded so that when you're using the nasogastric probe, the anatomical structure allows for you to go deeper uh, as you would in real life. Just to show some of the new features of software, I'm going to go back here. Now, when I'm going to start doing CPR, actually, I have to go into the correct rhythm. So to show you some of the new features of the software, you can see the CPR tab right there. So when I'm going to start doing chest compressions, you'll see what happens. So it doesn't instantly pop up now because if it does, it would obstruct this screen here. Instead of this starts glowing, so you can press, you can choose whether you want to have it here like this or not. And also here we have the patient monitor controls. So you toggle this here to sync it with your simulated patient monitor. You can also have in settings, your presets, which you can now save. So let's say if you're adding these strings here, so I want it to be a lead V3 and here I want to have train of four. I'm going to press apply and there is my patient monitor config configuration. If I go here and I wish to save it, I can save it. And then I'm going to have it as a preset and I'm going to be able to choose it here. Also, what's new is this little toggle here for the alarm limits. So you can configure them all at once easily here. A popular request by some of our customers so I'm gonna launch a scenario called healthy patient uh, in this case it's a little boy and when you launch the scenario you have an option to activate or deactivate the pharmacology model so I'm gonna activate it for this particular scenario so I have installed Arthur software on a Microsoft surface which is a Windows tablet which makes it easier for me when I'm doing the demos and here I have the new feature, the glucose test finger. There it is. You can see the soft, uh, it's soft at the tip right here for puncturing. And here you can see where it attaches to, oh, out of focus, sorry, where it attaches to, um, to Arthur's 
hand. These LEDs that are now currently used for cyanosis can also be used to simulate various skin conditions such as jaundice or rash or redness of the skin if you will so they can change color to uh, represent different conditions as well. So now I want to show you the new feature of Arthur with stomach distension. So I'm going to intubate him into the stomach. So if you do it right, medvision mannequins are quite easy to intubate. So currently I have the stomach distension feature on. I'm going to show it to you in the software in a second. So what's going to happen is uh, I have intubated him into the esophagus. I'm going to start ventilating and you're going to see the stomach rise. And the way this works is the bags for the stomach are going to keep inflating, but they will not, however, deflate. So we'll see it in a second. There we go. So now here I have the stomach distension. I have it raise and it doesn't deflate back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press this button and then I'm going to show it to you how it looks like a little closer. So here's the button and not sure if you can see it in the video from that angle. I'm going to show it from a different one, but I can hear the air coming out now that I've released the air from the stomach. So now let me show it to you from a different angle. So to show from another angle, you can see here in the action log, we have jaw thrust, esophageal intubation, patient's condition, stomach distension. So Arthur and Leonardo and Mia, all you know, the whole family of simulators by MedVision, they can recognize the tube position. So when you intubate into the trachea, it's going to show tracheal intubation. When you intubate into the esophagus, it's going to uh, show esophageal intubation. When you go into the left bronchus, right bronchus, when you extubate, it's going to show all of these things with sensors in the software. Now to show you stomach distension, here you have a new toggle right there. So when you toggle it, it means that when I'm going to start ventilating, you're going to start seeing the stomach inflate. There it is. Hard to see, but it's higher than it was before. And now I'm going to press this button, but I'm going to be showing you this so we can see what's going to happen. There we go. So, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos about MedVision patient simulators, um, in the description of this video, I'm going to put links to reviews of Leonardo and the new Matt. Um, this overview is brought to you by MSC Group, the exclusive distributor of MedVision products in Europe. Thank you for watching, and I see you guys in the next one.